Hello guys, welcome to your 18 C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you about the hash define pragma and type def. So let us begin with the hash define pragma. It's a pretty simple thing. So one thing that you should know that this hash include thingy which we have got here which includes the class iostream is a preprocessor directive. This occurs before the pro processing of the program always. Okay and this hash define is pretty simple hash define we define for example pi as 3.141142 yeah then here we can just input the radius radius first we have to define it though float radius there we go float radius and then we input the radius and then output the radius into radius into pi this gives the area of the circle if you don't know the formula let's pi r square and then return 0 so let me just run it and show it to you there we go uh, I input let's say 7 and that should be it 154 that's approximately and that's the correct one so let me just this is pretty straightforward we define pi as 3.142 and here it is replaced by 3.142 if I put 3.142 here it should produce the same result there we go 7 and yeah same result so that's essentially the thing very simple thing now about the type def okay so we write type def there we go and float and we write length this defines a length data type okay and length radius and again it should be able to run yeah there we go and voila so what type def essentially does is defines a new data type length which is equivalent to float okay length is here the same as float it, it is just another name for float which is a decimal inte which contains integers as well as decimals and has a much greater range and then we input the radius and do the same thing it's pretty much the same again we can define this an, a function as well area r as let's say r into r into 3.142 and here we just write area radius what s e why did I write that and now it should do the same thing I believe 7 and there we go another way we can even write small small one line functions like this okay so that's pretty much for this tutorial and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay cool thank you